All right guys, you ever have that feeling when you're going fishing and you're driving and you remember something you don't know if you put it in the car or not? I'm having that feeling this morning. I feel like this happens every time I go fishing. So I'm going crab snaring today and I'm not sure if I put the crab gauge in the car or not. And it's too late to go back now, so we're gonna have to go check. We got it. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, guys, moment of truth. And, oh yeah, we got it. We're on. All right, guys, I'm out here on the jetty today. I'm doing my first ever solo uh, crab snaring trip. I went once with Ish with Fish uh, on a previous mission to get some crab, and I managed to get one keeper. So I'm gonna see if I can get out here and do it by myself, so. Here's our crab snare. I just picked these up at the uh, local tackle shop. You can uh, make these yourself and make them a lot cheaper and specify them to your liking. But I'm too much of a rookie to uh, make these yet. So I just bought these at the store. I bought a couple of them. And what these are is just a little cage there. And when the crabs come up here and chew on this, you'll yank the snare in and hopefully they get looped. And um, Inside the cage, I just picked up some squid today. I'm just out for a quick trip. So, just need, I didn't want to mess around too much with bait. So, we're going with the uh, trusty old frozen squid. Just gonna jam a couple of these into this cage and get two of them in here. So we got two squid in there. We just close this and close the loop here. There you go, that's it. All I'm using today is this uh, Daiwa beef stick, which is just a really cheap rod you can get on Amazon for like 20 bucks, 10 foot. And I'm pairing that with this Pen Conflict. Uh, 8,000, yeah, Pen Conflict 8,000. That uh, if you're a long time viewer, you'll know that I won this actually at an Ish with Fish uh, tourney event. So, this is its uh, maiden voyage on the crabbing. My goal today is to get one keeper. If I can get one keeper, I think it's a successful trip. But let's see what we can get. that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll uh, give it a yank to see if there's any crap in the meantime while that's soaking uh, rather than just sit around I brought my other pole I'm gonna poke around in these little holes here because inside in between these rocks here live a bunch of different kinds of rock fish there's you know, rock, regular rock fish greenling cabazon uh, monkey face eel and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke around in these holes and see if I can find any. Yet. So what I've tied on here is just a little dropper loop, a little hook there, and a uh, two ounce teardrop sinker at the bottom. I'm just going to put a little piece of squid on here. Nothing too fancy, just a little piece of squid on this hook here. Make sure that point's exposed so that you can get hooked. Alright guys, check this out. The very first hole I dropped, I got a hit. So I think there's something yeah, on here. Look at that, the very first hole, right off the bat. I didn't even have the camera set up yet. But there, right there, is a little knob zone. And these have to be 15 inches in California in order to keep, so obviously too small. But it's still a cool fish to catch out here. While we're waiting for this crab snare. Give me a closer look at it. These are really cool fish. No scales, so their skin is really smooth, big head, and a really strong jaw muscle. These fish they feed on a lot of crabs with a lot of hard shells, so these uh, heads are really big made to crunch those shells. 
Yeah, there you go. Cool little fish there. All right, so we'll give this guy a quick release. Maybe we'll catch him one day when he's 15 inches. All right, guys, so we're on the inside part of the jetty now. So both of these, both sides of the jetty will hold fish, so. The last one we got, first try on the uh, ocean side of the jetty. Let's see if we can find anything on this side. Some of these holes go way down, even when they're farther in. So you want to, I found that the, the farther the holes go down, the better your chance of catching something in there. This one's right here and it goes down, I don't know, at least, let's see, four or five feet. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes on this guy. Let's give it our first shot. Let's see if we have any beginner's luck. You want to tighten down to your snare. So you tight, give it a good gauge, and get slow and steady pressure on the uh, line so that you can make sure that, that crab doesn't come unlooped. Nothing this time. It does look like there were some crabs chewing on it. I like to check the bait after it's been out there for a little while. So we're gonna toss it back to the same spot and see if we can find another one. Okay, take two on the crab snare. Here's our first uh, crab of the day. Perfectly snared in two of these loops. There you go. So you can tell this one's a female because it has this wider piece right here. I guess this is called the apron. And the males will be a little more pointed. And you can't keep females. I don't think this one's gonna be big enough. We'll measure her anyways. So you wanna measure from the inside of this point to the inside of this point. So as you can see, it's actually pretty close, but not quite a keeper. Shy by about a quarter of an inch. So back she'll go. Hopefully make more babies, more crab in the future. But this is a good sign. At least we know there's some crabs around. Three. Yep. All right, I'm gonna refill this rebate. Put some fresh bait in there. Hopefully, it attract in some more fish. All right, so a little update now. Been here out here for about an hour. Uh, I think three poles on the main crabbing rod here. One female that was a little bit too small had to go back, and one little cabazone on the. Uh, dropper loop poke pulling setup, but I got kind of tired of poke pulling so I actually got a crab snare on that rod also even though it's Not really designed for crabbing, but Caught crabs on it last time see if it works again. I got a little bit of a little bit lighter crab snare So it'll work a little bit easier with this lighter rod But uh, yeah, checking them every 15 minutes and hopefully we can get a keeper here. Nope, nothing. So one thing that I've been forgetting, probably obvious for you uh, seasoned veteran crabbers, but sometimes I forget to open these loops before I cast it out. And obviously you're not going to snare a crab if the loop's all tightened up already. So especially for you beginner crabbers, Got to make it a point to try and remember to open up these before you cast them out.
All right, let's give her a shot here. Oh, that feels good. There's definitely one on there. Now, one thing when you're bringing them in is you always want to have a plan for how you're going to lift them up off the rock. So I have a little entryway right here that I'm going to hopefully bring this crab up. It stays on here. Maybe there's two on here. It feels pretty heavy. Oh, we got color. Oh no, it's one good one. Okay, I think this is a keeper if we can get it up. So we bring it up here. And then up like that. And pretty sure that's a keeper. In fact, definitely. This is a jumbo right here. Now that right there is a nice crab. All its claws, it's a male. You can see it's got this pointed piece as that last one was a female. It was more rounded right here. And we'll measure this guy just to show you to make it official. You can see right there it got tangled up. Two of those loops tangled up, so this guy wasn't gonna get away. In fact, it's gonna be even hard to get off of here. Ooh, almost caught in there. Okay, so if you measure these guys, right, like I said before, right in front of this point to right in front of the other point on the other side, Right there, that's about a six and a quarter inch crab, almost six and a half. So this would be a legal crab even in Oregon and Washington, I believe. It's got all his claws, nice healthy looking shell. This is gonna be perfect. So there we go. I said earlier my goal today was to get one keeper. There's our one. Now anything else is gonna be gravy. I think there's something on here. Doesn't feel as big as the last one, but maybe a small crab, but you also never know. They could be coming in sideways and not creating any drag and they won't feel as big. So let's see what we got here. Yep, it's a smaller crab. So let's see, it could be keeper. Well, you know what? I think this one's, no, I think it's too small. Hey, that's a, that's dang close, even closer than the last one. Even closer than the last crab. Actually, it's about the same. Hey, maybe it's the same crab. Who knows? About an eighth of an inch too short, so she'll go back. There goes nothing. Hopefully to make more crab babies for next year. We got two strikes on the salmon rod. Last chance before we strike out. Oh, there's something on here. Could be, yeah, there is something on there. I think it's a smaller crab. Yeah, little one. There's a little female there. We won't even need to measure this one. It's even smaller than the last one that we got. But, hey, better than nothing. Chalk another one up to the salmon rod. Get him in here. Another female. Measure. Pretty sure she's too small, but we'll measure anyway. That seaweed off of her. Yep. Yeah, a lot of these are like a quarter, quarter inch too short, or an eighth of an inch too short. But so it goes. These will make more crabs for the future.
So you're probably wondering what the heck is going on here, but I got one of my stupid ideas. It's gonna be either really cool or really boneheaded, but what I've done is I strapped my GoPro to this, uh, this crab snare here, and I'm gonna cast it out so you can see for yourself what goes on down under the water there. And hopefully nothing goes wrong and I get my GoPro back, but if not, it's been real GoPro. If anyone happens to find this GoPro washed up on the shore somewhere, Please return it to Dire Fishing. Check me out on YouTube and send me a message. All right, guys, here goes nothing. All right guys, I only have one GoPro, so this is coming off my phone. We're gonna pull up that go that sh snare with the GoPro on it, and if there's a crab on it, that'll be even better. Let's see. It feels heavy. So not a big one, but there was one on there. So it'll be interesting what this uh, footage looks like. I guess you guys have seen it already, but for me, I haven't seen it yet. So it should be interesting. I'm gonna wrap it up for me today. Quick trip out to the jetty. My first solo crab steering trip, and we did manage to get one, which was my goal I said at the beginning. One keeper, and it was a nice one at that. A bunch of short females that were you know, just about a quarter to an eighth of an inch short. But uh, one keeper male, can't complain with that. And nice day out here on the water. So we're gonna go home and kick that up. That's gonna be good for dinner. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.